So let's talk about the Shelley Art Bloom. The Bloom technique was invented by an Australian woman called Shelley Carruthers. She teaches this technique in an online course, and I consider it the single most advanced technique in acrylic pouring. It looks like what I'm showing you on screen right now. Um, it creates this lacing effect produced by a component called a cell activator. And a cell activator is um, a term that confuses a lot of beginners because they think it's a generic term when in fact it is a specific layer that comes from this technique invented by Shelley. And I hope to show you in this video the benefit of the original recipe as intended by Shelley. What you're seeing here is called the pillow layer. A pillow layer is usually made out of house paint and depending where you are in the world, you could usually use it straight out of the can, especially if you're in the US or in Australia. For other people, we have to thin it down, uh, especially for me in Egypt. So what you're seeing here is house paint thinned with a little bit of water to get it to flow. It's still very thick, but as you see when I pour it onto the tile, the mounds still sink and it levels somewhat like it doesn't it doesn't goop if you can imagine the, the the mental image i'm drawing here so this is the pillow sometimes some people like to leave it in a circle in the middle i prefer to spread it out a little and then pull a little bit more in the middle the second layer of a shelly art bloom is the color puddle the color puddle is usually made from a pouring medium that consists of untinted house paint um, this can also be called neutral or base 3 or base C, depending on where you are in the world. Basically, it's house paint before it gets colored. And that is mixed up with polyurethane varnish, um, something like Josonia, to thin it down because base C is quite thick. And then you would either mix that up with pigment or with tube paint. What you're seeing in my painting at the moment, these are all tube paints. Uh, the first color was uh, Azo Yellow. Um, from Amsterdam. The second is Red Violet Light from Amsterdam. And the next color is going to be um, Blue Violet, um, also from Amsterdam. And all of these are mixed with the same um, recipe of untinted house paint and uh, polyurethane varnish. This recipe in terms of thickness is thinner than the pillow so if you imagine these uh, two layers of the pillow is the thickest at the bottom the pillow's sole purpose is to carry everything on top and help it glide uh, move easily across the canvas or the tile or whatever it is you're painting on and then the colors are slightly thinner the colors should be somewhat the same as close to each other as possible and what i'm putting on now is the cell activator recipe i'm actually going to use two I'm going to use uh, this turquoise from Art Creations. And I will also use a titanium white from Atelier that the lovely people from Fluid Art Co. were kind enough to send me. Now, this is where I want to talk about the layer called the cell activator. The cell activator is a term that is actually distinct to the bloom technique. It did not exist before the bloom technique. And the effect that it produces is called lacing, that sort of webbing uh, looking uh, shape that sits around the cells. That is the effect created by a cell activator. The, the term itself is the specific recipe that Shelley created, which is normally um, Amsterdam paint and Australian float rod. So what you're seeing here and this is perhaps my very first painting using Australian float roll, um, is those two paints that I had mentioned, each separately mixed with Australian float roll. Now, you've seen many, many alternative recipes that I've used to create lacing, and perhaps uh, it was incorrect of me to call those cell activators as well, because they're not the original recipe. But here's what I've learned in the time that I've used Australian float roll. It gets a lot of heat for being expensive to ship and whatnot, but let me say this to be fair. The room, the margin for error is so much bigger when you're using Australian float roll. Like I'm getting these results on my first or second attempt at ever using this material. Do you know what I mean? Like even with my experience, when I come up with a recipe for lacing, it takes so much tweaking to get it to look the way I want. 
Like, it, this barely took any work what I've done here. So, yeah, it might be expensive. But to be fair, I believe in learning um, the material at its source. Um, I've taken Shelley's uh, course myself. It was invaluable in understanding the technique and in the mater materials. And the course actually comes with a very useful group that's exclusive to the people who buy the course, uh, where you can get support, um, dedicated support from their team and from other people who've taken the course. Um, and I really highly recommend it. And in fact, if you would like to take the course, I could give you a 15% discount code. And you will find that in the description box of this video. Do check that out. I recommend it really, really highly. Uh, it's great and the team is great. The support is wonderful. And here you go. Here's the finished painting. So I, you can see like the Australian float roll really speaks for itself. The original recipe is so much more effective at giving you the results you want. So keep that in mind.